for an adult male who i mean for for their entire life they've had they, they know that they have a normal penis if they come to you and they complain that my penis is disappearing or i mean that's typically what they will complain about my penis you see my penis seems shorter of course also very very important to men if you have this condition you're not able to um penetrate i mean <laughs> I, I that's a problem a lot of conditions can affect a man's penis and one of them will be treated in this video today this particular condition can be a source of embarrassment and frustration for those who have it as it can affect their self-esteem their sexual function and so much more in this video we'll explore the causes the symptoms the treatments for this particular condition as well as provide some tips on how to deal if you find yourself actually facing something like this i'll be right back Welcome back, my name is Jessica. This is my YouTube channel. So what is this condition we're talking about? It's called buried penis. Have you heard about it? Let me know in the comments below. If you haven't, keep watching. I'm being joined right now by a medical doctor. His name is um, Dr. Kelvin Owusu and he's joining us all the way from Ghana. Kelvin, so good to see you. How are things going today? Good to be here, Jessica. I'm very happy to be here. I mean, I'm excited <laughs> as you can tell. Indeed, indeed. Um, so, so let's let's get into the you know the crux of the conversation. What is buried penis at all? For this, this is one condition where um, the the name sort of explains the, the situation. So the penis is literally buried. You know, in medicine, sometimes a, a lot of the names are they need more explanation. But this one is quite straightforward. So the penis is buried. It's buried under the skin. You know, so the, the, there's, there's a layer of skin either has folded over the penis or has sort of encased the penis. And so the penis, it, it, it doesn't, you don't see the full length. So this is not a situation where the length of the penis has reduced. No, the penis length is normal. It's usually normal penis length, you know, but it's hitting inside the skin fold. So that's why it's called buried penis because the penis is buried inside the skin. So I mean, the, the name pretty much explains explains the scenario. So your penile length is normal. Penile length is normal; it hasn't reduced in length, but your skin has overgrown. Yes, for lack of a better expression, the skin has overgrown the penis. When it starts to happen in adult men, um, mm -hmm. should a guy be worried? <laughs> Well, yes. I mean, you should be worried because because there are, there are things you you probably cannot do as easily as you were doing before. So you should be worried. I mean, so for instance, uh, and typically one of the complications that people with this condition would have would be recurrent um, infections around the around the pubic area, around the, the the groin, you know, and also recurrent urine urinary tract infections (UTIs). This is because um, the 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 skin has en engulfed the penis. So whenever you go out to when you, whenever you go to urinate, um, the, the the urine sort of drips around that area, the scrotum area, you know, and obviously um, p um, urine is a secretion from the body, and bacteria love secretions from the body, you know. So once pin uh, once urine is around that area, they will sort of go there and infest the place. So they, they tend to have a complication, which is that the the they get recurrent skin infection and recurrent UTIs. So you should be worried. Of course, also very very important to men. If you have this condition, you're not able to um, penetrate. I mean, <laughs> I, I... That's a problem. <laughs> That's a big problem. Okay. This is more of a problem than even the infection. I mean, who cares about infection? <laughs> so, <yes. laughs> so it is It is a problem. You can't penetrate because, I mean, the skin is preventing the penis from coming out. You know, the, the whole length of the penis is, is stuck inside the skin. So how can you penetrate? And even if you should actually get an erection, it tends to be extremely painful because the skin is preventing the the you know the the, the penis from expressing itself <laughs> you know so, yeah, so it, it, erection tends to be painful so um even if you're able to achieve that erection now penetration becomes challenging because the length of the penis is not hidden beneath the skin so it cannot um do what it's meant to do so that that is worrying is worrying yeah so, so what causes buried penis then so, like I said, it depends on the age of the person. So let, let's let's start with the easiest one, which is the children. I've actually attended to a couple of boys. The parents brought them in there because they thought the the penis was too short. You know, so you, you do an exam examination. It's actually a very important observation. I mean, every every mother, every father needs to examine their their son's penis because it could, it could be one of the things that is missed. And I, I mean, unfortunately, I've actually I've attended to older boys who had an issue which could have been resolved earlier but because nobody paid attention to it, it i mean now it, nothing can be done about it now when it comes to adults 
the commonest cause of these things that is for adults whose um, problem did not start in childhood because if it started in childhood we would have known about it and probably followed up on them you know but if it starts new in adulthood the commonest cause tends to be obesity you know uh-huh. so yes <laughs> um obesity is actually the commonest cause in adults so as you pack the weight as you pack the pounds the the the, the fat is is deposited underneath the skin I mean, the skin is the skin is the largest organ and has the most space to accommodate fat. So a lot of fat is deposited under the skin, and eventually, as the skin continues to ex- uh, uh, continues to expand, you are going to then lose your penis in quotes because the skin will overtake the penis, and then the penis cannot be seen at all. You know, some people are are are, are lucky in quotes. The, the skin sort of overhangs, so I mean, the belly fat overhangs the penis. That's easy to uh, easy. You just shift the you just shift the, the 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 fat somewhere, and then you carry on with your business. But others are not so not so lucky. It goes into the into the, the under the skin of the penis itself, and sort of eats um away all the the leverage you have. You know, so obesity is the it is the commonest cause in adults and um, when it comes to this buried penis um condition. Okay. Does it interfere with um, normal sex, for instance? If you if you start, like, for instance, um, you said something about the fat overtaking the penis in that case. Does it interfere with sex? So depending on how extreme the, um, the obesity, I mean, they, they typically we, we reserve, it's, it's commonly found in people who are obese class three. <laughs> now okay. there are different, That's there like are different almost stages morbidly. of obesity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, there are different stages of obesity. You start well, by being overweight, and this is done by the BMI. The BMI is the ratio of your your, your height to your weight i mean that's a calculation that we do and so if your bmi goes beyond a certain point you are classified as overweight when it goes beyond a certain point it's obesity class one then there's class two and then there's class three so typically this would you find this in people who have who are obese class three it doesn't mean that you, you don't find it in people who are uh, obese class two or class one because you remember that everybody um, we, we and we all don't store fat the same way People tend to put uh, people tend to store fat in different places. So it could be that I mean you might just be an obese class one, but because you tend to store your fat around your hips and your and your lower abdomen area, it could actually I mean affect you. So I mean the fact that I'm saying that it's, it's more common in class three does not mean that you don't find it anywhere else. You know. So depending on the, depending on the severity of the of the um, the skin protrusion, it can disrupt your sex life. In fact. People have got uh, have gotten into psychological issues, depression, anxiety because of this. Because every time they they, they get into the in the in the zone to have to have sexual intercourse, they are unable to because the penis, I mean, erection is painful, or because the, the length is eating, they are not able to penetrate, and that can cause problems. Or their partner gets scared away because I mean, hey, where is the penis? I can't see anything over there. What, what's happening here? Then you know, so it creates a lot of a lot of issues for them. So the severity can can cause this, and also in men. In men who have who still have their foreskin and men who are not circumcised, I mean there are some men who don't who don't get circumcised. It can also cause a bit of complication because the foreskin, the foreskin itself um, overhangs the glands. The glands is the tip of the penis. The foreskin itself is overhanging it. You know, so it, that extra room that fat can also um, sort of be stored. You know, so men with foreskin can have a, a, a much much more difficult time with this and they are even more predisposed to infection already generally or generally speaking people with men with foreskin already have a risk of infection because um especially if they don't they don't clean the the foreskin well the inside you know the foreskin like i said is overhanging the glands penis you know so every time you are taking a shower for instance you have to retract the foreskin and clean um the the glands like i said the glands is the head the head or the tip of the penis you know so if you don't do that and bacteria can actually inhabit in that area and can cause infection. So they already have that issue. Now, when this is compounded by the, the, the additional fat, it makes the retraction even more difficult, which means that infection is definitely going to establish around that area. And that's another level, another level of complication that nobody wants to get to. You know, so if you have if you if you have not been circumcised, you you seriously need to check your weight because you, have, you, you could you could have additional risk should, should this occur. Thanks for telling us that. So um, let's let's also talk about maybe diagnosis. How how is berry penis diagnosed? Well, I mean, this this is one this is one of the easier the easier diagnosis. I mean, you literally just look and, and, and you can tell that this is what's going on. For an adult male, 
who I mean for for their entire life they've had they, they know that they have a normal penis if they come to you and they complain that my penis is disappearing or I mean that's typically what they will complain about my penis you see my penis seems shorter of course also very very important to men if you have this condition you are not able to um, penetrate I mean <laughs> I, I that's a problem <laughs> <laughs> that's a big problem okay this is more of a problem than even the infection i mean who cares about infection <laughs> you know my penis has disappeared you take a look and you can tell that okay this is happening because you can tell you can see the fat hanging you can see this and that you can go ahead and do an examination but most of the time examination is not it's not really needed just by visually inspecting you can tell that this was going on okay so so what how do they treat um conditions like this if someone comes to you and says hey my penis is disappearing um what's <laughs> what kind of treatments are available and i'm talking about adult men in this case so that i mean the first line of treatment is i mean assuming this person has not complained of any psychological um, effects uh, you know then then we, we are not going to go there the first line of treatment would be exercise if you're able to get your weight down it sort of takes care of itself you know so exercise would actually help deal with this i mean as a first line but exercise is a is, is, is a slower long-term process so sometimes there might be a need to to intervene in other ways and so some of the ways that will be intervened will be surgical that's what i'm referring to surgery here you know so they might do surgery to remove the fat the fat um, parts from from that area you know uh, so typically says there's the surgery will target removal of the fat part or maybe tightening tightening up the skin in that area a bit so that it, it would retract um from the penis so those those options are available they may not be available in our jurisdiction here um in, in ghana i mean speaking specific, spe specifically uh, from ghanaian perspective but there are options that are available elsewhere and can be applied when necessary but typically the easiest the easiest um, approach would be exercise because exercise will not only deal with the um, with the buried the buried penis by removing the fat it will also build your 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 own strength your your cardiovascular health and all that you know so exercise will give you a holistic um holistic outcome you know but other options are also available that can be applied in this case quick question before we wrap up this conversation um has buried penis got anything to do with fertility so <laughs> directly no it does not affect fertility directly however because it's it, it can't prevent penetration then it means indirectly it can you know pose a physical barrier to your ability to fertilize um you know to, to to engage in sex in the first place you know so it, so whereas so whereas directly it's not going to cause infertility indirectly it's going to prevent the physical coming together of the man and the woman and so in in, in the long run it can result in challenges with fertility right makes sense makes absolute sense all right so just in case there's anybody out there who you know um is experiencing something like this and obviously in this case i'm talking about adult men what from your medical perspective should be the first course of action now for adult men i mean as, as ha has already been uh, been established there's help available um you can you can come you need to come in i mean i know it's challenging to come in and discuss you know such private matters but i urge you to come in and let's have a conversation we can definitely help you exercise is going to is going to do its bit if the exercise is, is not fast enough there are surgery surgical options available that can be applied to help you get your self-esteem back you know there's psychological support that can be given to you as well so don't sit home and compound your situation come in and let's have a conversation we have professionals to support you through it all well thank you very much doc i really appreciate your time and we definitely will be catching up with you again um because there's a lot that we need to talk about right here on this channel so thank you for your time and for those of you watching if you found this video helpful beneficial share it with another guy who needs to know about this very interesting condition and uh, i'll definitely catch you with more more content that has to do with men's health amongst others on this channel right here smash the like button don't forget to share and subscribe if you'd like to know more